Welcome to this service. At entrance you should tell, Heavenly Father God, let your mercy be upon us. Give the deaths peace and rest. Give the churches unity and give the world peace. Amen, amen, amen. Let us pray the prayer of preparation. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secret are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our heart by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer of Penitence God so loved the world that he gave his only son Jesus Christ to save us from our sins, to be our advocate in heaven, and to bring us to eternal life. Let us confess our sins in penitence and faith, firmly resolved to keep God's commandments and to live in love and peace with all. Confession Father eternal, giver of light and grace, we have seen in what we have taught, in what we have said and done, through ignorance, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We have wounded your love and married your images in us. We are sorry and ashamed and re repent of all our sins for the sake of your Son Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past and lead us uh, out from darkness to walk in children of light. Amen. Gloria, Gloria in excelsis Deu. Gloria, Gloria in excelsis Deu. Glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Gloria, Gloria in excelsis Deu. Gloria, Gloria in excelsis Deu. Jesus, Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Gloria, Gloria. In excelsis Deu, Gloria, Gloria, in excelsis Deu, Amen. The Bible, Matthew 24, part 1 to 35, Jesus warns about the future. Jesus left the temple area and was walking away, but his followers came to him to show him the temple's buildings. He asked them, Are you looking at these buildings? The fact is, they will be destroyed. Every stone will be thrown down to the ground. Not one stone will be left on another. Later, Jesus was sitting on a place on the Mount of the Olives. The followers came to be alone with him. They said, Tell us when these things will happen and what will happen to prepare us for your coming and the end of time. Jesus answered, Be careful. Don't let anyone fool you. Many people will come and use my name. They will say, I am the Messiah, and they will fool many people. You will hear about wars that are being fought and you will hear stories about other wars be, uh, beginning but don't be afraid these things must happen before the end comes nations will fight against other nations kingdom will fight against other kingdoms there will be time when there is no food for people to eat and there will be earthquakes in different places. These things are only the beginning of troubles. 
like the first pains of a woman giving birth. Then you will be arrested and handed over to be punished and killed. People all over the world will hate you because you believe in me. During that time, many believers will lose their faith. They will turn against each other and hate each other. Many false prophets will come and cause many people to believe things that are wrong. There will be, a, be so much more evil in the world that the love of most believers will grow cold. But the one who remains faithful to the end will be saved. And the good news I have shared about God's kingdom will be told throughout the world. It will be uh, spread to every nation. Then the end will come. Daniel the prophet spoke about the terrible thing that causes destruction. You will see this terrible thing standing in the holy place. You who read this should understand what it means. The people in Judah at that time should run away to the mountains. They should run away without wasting time to stop or anything. If they are on the roof of their house, they must not go down to get anything out of the house. If they are in the field, they must not go back to get a coat. During that time, it will be hard for women who are pregnant or have small babies. Pray that it will not be winter or a Sabbath day when these things happen and you have to run away because it will be a time of great trouble. There will be more trouble than has even happened since the beginning of the world and nothing as bad as that will ever happen again. But God has decided to make the terrible time short. If it were not made short, no one would continue living. But God will make that time short to help the people he has chosen. Someone might, might say to you at that time, look, there is a Messiah. Or someone else might say, there is he. But don't believe them. False messiahs and false prophets will come and do great miracles and wonders, trying to fool the people God has chosen, if that is possible. Now, I have warned you about this before it happens. Someone might tell you, the messiah is there in the desert, but don't go into the desert to look for him. Someone else might say, there is the Messiah in, in that room, but don't believe it. When the Son of Man comes, everyone will see him. It will be like lightning flashing in the sky that can be seen everywhere. It's like looking for a dead body. You will find it where the vultures are gathering about. Right after the trouble of those days, this will happen. The sun will become dark and the moon will not give a light. The stars will fall from the sky and every, everything in the sky will be changed. Then there will be something in the sky that shows the Son of Man is coming. All the people of the world will cry. Everyone will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds in the sky. He will come with power and great glory. He will use a loud trumpet to send his angels 
all around the earth they will gather his chosen people from every part of the earth the fig tree teaches us a lesson when its branches become green and soft and new leaves begin to grow then you know that summer is very near in the same way when you see all these things happening you will know that the time is very near already present i assure you that all these things will happen while some of the people of this time are still living the whole world earth and sky will be destroyed but my words will last forever this is the word of jesus thanks be to god hallelujah 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 Epistle Roman 15 part 22 Paul's plan to visit Rome That's what has kept me so busy and prevented my coming to see you even though I have wanted to come many times. Now I have finished my work in these areas and for many years I have wanted to visit you. So I will visit you when I go to Spain. Yes, I hope to visit you while I am traveling to Spain and I will stay and enjoy being with you. Then you can help me continue on my trip. Now. I am going to Jerusalem to help God's people there. Some of them are poor and the believers in Macedonia and Achaia wanted to help, to help them. So they gathered some money to send them. They were happy to do this and it, it was like paying something they owed them because as non-Jews, they have been blessed spiritually by the Jews. So now they should use the uh, material blessings they have. They have to help the Jews. I am going to Jerusalem to make sure the poor get this money that has been given for them. After I finish that, I will leave for Spain and I stop to visit you on the way and I know that when I visit you I will bring you Christ's full blessing brothers and sisters I beg you to help me in my work by praying to God for me do this because of our Lord Jesus and the love of the Spirit gives us Pray that I will be saved from those in Judah who refuse to accept our message. And pray that this help I am bringing to Jerusalem will please God's people there. Then, if God wants to me, wants me to, I will come to you. I will come with joy and together you and I will have a time of rest. The God who gives peace be with you. Amen. This is the word of Jesus. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. 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 Gospel John 20 part 10 to 19 Jesus appears to Mary Magdalene then the followers went back home but Mary stood outside the tomb crying while she was crying she bent down 
and looked inside the town. She saw two angels dressed in white sitting where Jesus' body had been. One was sitting where the head had been, the other was sitting where the feet had been. The angels asked, Ma asked Mary, Woman, why are you crying? Mary answered, They took away the body of my Lord, and I don't know where they have where they put him. When Mary said this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing there, but she did not know that it was Jesus. He asked her, Woman, why are you crying? Who are you looking for? She thought he was the man in charge of the garden. So she said to him, Did you take him away, sir? Tell me where you put him. I will go and get him. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned to, toward him and said in Rama, Rabin, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, you don't need to hold my hand, me, in my hand. I have not yet gone back to the Father. But go to my followers and tell them this. I am going back to my Father and your Father. I am going back to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went to the followers and told them, I saw the Lord, and she told them what he had said to her glory be to you O Lord hallelujah 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 the city of God people from every nation clap your hands together Shout aloud to God with the sound of happy songs. The Lord Most High is wonderful. He is the great King who rules over the whole earth. He has won the battle against our enemies and those nations are now under our power. He chose a special land to belong to us. Jacob's descendants are proud of that land they are his own people that he loves hallelujah god has gone up to sit on his throne while the people sh shout aloud the lord has gone up there while the trumpets make a loud noise sing to praise god yes sing sing to praise our king sing God is the king who rules over the whole earth, so sing a special song to praise him. God rules over the nations. God is sitting on his holy throne. The leaders of the nations have met together. They have joined with the people who serve Abraham's God. God has authority over all the world's rulers and their armies. Everyone should praise Him. Hallelujah. For He is great. For He is great. Hallelujah. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Preaching. God can set you free. You can turn your sadness into joy. You can transform your inside out. You can powerfully restore you. He is the God of redemption. He can make your life new. God loves you so much. You are his beloved child. You may not see his hands moving in the midst, but he is always there with you, hugging you so tight. So if you are lonely, if you are in the middle of this storm, if you are struggling, always remember that God will stay with you. So don't worry, don't be afraid. God is watching over you and he will guide your steps. It may appear that it's impossible to turn things around, but God is always good. He knows what's best for you. So this time, instead of asking for so many uh, what if, if is, 
instead of doubting his power over your life, have faith. Learn to trust him because he will perform miracles. Believe in him for he will always provide. If you need wisdom, he will give it to you. If you are paying for an increase in finances, then God will surely supply enough blessing for you. Learn to knock and he will open the door for you. Ask him and you will receive. Love him with all your heart and your and you will be blessed. Expect for more from God, for He will sustain you in ways that you can never imagine. Amen. Decreed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven, was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and was made a man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius plate. This, uh, he, he suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Prayers of intercessions. We pray for the whole world to solve their conflicts and live in peace and grace. Thanks, Lord, hearing and answering our prayers. We pray for all poor countries. Give them rain and let them use it usefully to make food. Thanks, Lord, hearing and answering our prayers. We pray for sick people. Please heal them and let them know your miracles and let them adore you. Thanks, Lord, hearing and answering our prayers. Amen. The peace. We are the body of Christ. In the one spirit, we were all baptized into one body. Let us then pursue all that makes us for peace and builds up our common life. The peace of the Lord be always be with you. Amen. Preparation of taking the bread and wine. You must have a piece of bread and a glass of uh, non-alcoholic wine, wine or water. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to set before you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be with God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this vine to set before you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. 
it will become for us the cup of salvation. Blessed be God forever. Your Lord is the greatness, the power, the glory, the splendor, and the majesty. For everything in heaven and on earth is yours. All things come from you, and of your own do we give you. The Lord is here, his spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. Amen. It is indeed right. It is our duty and our joy at all times and in all places to give you thanks and praise. Holy Father, Heavenly King, Almighty and Eternal God, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, for he is your living word through him you have created all things from the beginning and formed us in your own image through him you have freed us from the slavery of sin giving him to be born of a woman and to die upon the cross you raised him from the dead and exalted him to your right hand of high through him you have sent upon us your holy and life-giving spirit and made us a, a people for your own possessions therefore we angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven we proclaim your great and glorious name forever praising you and singing holy 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 lord god of power and might heaven and earth are full of your glory Hosanna in the highest Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Accept our praises, Heavenly Father, through your Son, our salvation, Jesus Christ, and as we follow his example and obey his command, grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit these gifts of bread and wine may be to us his body and his blood who is in the same night that he was betrayed took bread and gave you thanks he broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take eat this is my body which is given for you do this in remembrance of me in the same way after supper he took the cup and gave you thanks he gave it to them saying drink this all of you this is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me therefore heavenly father we remember this offering of him, himself made once for all upon the cross we proclaim his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension we look for the coming of our kingdom and with this bread and this cup of uh, cup we make the memorial of Christ your son our Lord Amen Christ is risen Christ will come again Amen 
accept through him our great high lord this our sacrifice of thanks and praise and as we eat and drink these holy gifts in the presence of your divine majesty renew us by your spirit inspire us with your love and unite us in the body of your son jesus christ our lord through him and with him and in him in the unity of the holy spirit with all who stand before you in the earth and heaven we worship you father almighty in songs of everlasting praise blessing and honor and glory and power be yours forever and ever amen the lord's prayer our father in heaven hallowed be your name your kingdom come your will be done on earth as in heaven give us today our daily bread forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for the kingdom the power and glory and are yours now and forever amen If you are many, break the bread and share with each other. Though we are many, we are one body because we all share in one bread. Son of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Son of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Amen. Giving of communion. Most merciful Lord, your love compels us to come in. Our hands were unclean. Our hearts were unprepared. We were not fit even to eat this crumb, the crumbs from under your table. But you, Lord, are the God of our salvation and share your bread with sinners. So cleanse and feed us with the precious body and blood of your Son that he may live in us and we in him and that we with the whole company of Christ may sit and eat in your kingdom Amen God's holy gifts for God's holy people Jesus Christ is holy Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father Amen You can eat the bread and drink the wine or water. If it is water you are drinking, you can uh, ask Jesus to turn as wine in your body. The peace of God, which passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his son Jesus Christ our Lord and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. It is the end of the service. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Jesus, Amen. At exit, you should tell, I give over my past to the mercy of God, my presence for the love of God, and my future of God's protection. Amen.